could not do that. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Merry Christmas to you all. Peace, love, hope, joy. Those are the Advent candles we've lit every Sunday for the past four weeks. And there's a final candle on our Advent wreath that we're going to light tonight. And that symbolizes the person who makes that peace, love, hope, and joy possible. And that's the Christ candle. As we light the Christ candle to celebrate the end of Advent and the arrival of Jesus, let us remember how our Savior came as a lowly baby, that through him the world might be saved, and how he will one day return in glory. I am the light of the world, Jesus said. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We bow your heads for our opening prayer. Lord, on this Christmas Eve, we pause to prepare our hearts for a most beautiful celebration. Your birth and coming to earth as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Clear our minds so we can focus on you and the joy that you bring us through your gift of salvation. May the same thrill and anticipation that filled Mary, the chosen mother of Jesus, consume us and draw us close to you. May our spirits cry out, Alleluia with a host of the angels who first delivered the good news of great joy and a humble, awestruck shepherds that night so long ago. Emmanuel, God with us, Prince of Peace, the Son of God, Messiah, may all that you are fill our hearts with gratitude and worship as we bow this evening before you and offer our prayer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. We'll need your hymnals tonight. There should be one close by. I well, invite you to stand as we sing our first Christmas hymn tonight, A Little Town of Bethlehem. We'll sing the first and the third standards. Thank you. 
defeat. You have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor. <coughs> Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. 
You may remain seated as we sing the first and second stanzas of Away in the Manger. and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He only came as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone is coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who blessed his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among <coughs> us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. One small child in a land of a thousand, one small dream of a Savior to Reaching out to the starlight, one small city of 
Hosea 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, the government shall call upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It came upon a midnight clear. We'll stand now and sing the uh, first and the third stanzas. <laughs>
city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and call his name Emmanuel. Silent night. Let's sing together all four stanzas. while Quirinius was governor of Syria. 
and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, in, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The songs that we've sung tonight have been um, focused upon that precious baby, Jesus, that was born in a manger. This song uh, invites us each to reflect upon the fact, uh, the question rather, have we made room in our hearts for Jesus Christ?
I'm going to invite our deacons up here to the front row as we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Christian tradition says that <clears throat> Jesus and his disciples celebrated the Last Supper on the Thursday before his arrest. We celebrate and honor the Last Supper this evening as part of our preparation for Christmas. And I invite anybody who knows Jesus as their Lord to participate. Scripture teaches us that through Holy Communion we connect with Christ not only in the memory of his death, but in the spiritual life that he gives us. We have eternal life only with the life of Christ inside us. He writes that on the night of Jesus' betrayal, he gathered his disciples in the very upper room where they would witness him resurrected. Each of the twelve were there. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and after blessing it, broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body.
of the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. By him we are made one with him, and by his blood we are made eternal. Amen. Every Christmas uh, we celebrate the birth of a baby boy who would grow up to become the Savior who once said, I am the light of the world. The first task of every Christian is to share in that light by receiving it first from Christ and then sharing it again with a darkening world. As we sing our closing hymn tonight, we're going to symbolize the sharing of that light with candles. Everybody have a candle? Who needs a candle? Anybody need a candle? I'm going to light mine uh, from the Christ candle, and then I'm going to make my way straight down the center aisle there. And I'll light uh, the candles of everyone on the ends. And then you turn to the person next to you, and you share your light with them. When every candle has been lit, we'll join in singing two stanzas of a holy night. Um, the text is written in your bulletin tonight. invite you to stand. You can go home tonight and tell everyone that you got to sing all the way night at church on Christmas Eve.
hit those high notes. No, we didn't. Well, I, I heard it. Uh, our benediction tonight is printed in your bulletins. Would you read it in unison with me as we close? Lord, have mercy on us. Mercifully allow the message of your goodness and love to go out into the dark and broken spaces of our world. Open the eyes of men to be able to see you as their Savior and King. Bring revival into our churches, into the hearts of those searching for their homes, and let your peace bring needed relief to the relentless fear our world is captured by. Lord, thank you for sending your Son to be the light that pierces the darkness that covers this world. As we conclude a year that has felt darker, harder, and heavier for our world, would you give us the strength to cling to you through it all? Jesus, fill our hearts and homes with your joy this Christmas and throughout the year to come. Amen.